Well, I'm, now, now this is an excuse for me to go a bit down memory lane because I'm showing you the first trial. Not, they're not all as beautiful or complete as the last one. Uh, you see, this, this is all put together. Most trilobites fall into bits. So you're now going to see some bitty bits, some bitty trilobites for a bit. Uh, the first one was this thing, a very peculiar trilobite with enormous eyes, great balloons of eyes. They normally have quite small eyes. Uh, this was the first trilobite I ever named many years ago. And I called it Opiputa. It was a new genus. Quite exciting. Opiputa, which means one who ogles. Because <laughs> of its great eyes. And in connivus means without, without sleeping. So it's one who ogles without sleeping. Uh, that was my first ever trilobite. Uh, then I named one for my wife, which is one of the most attractive trilobites I've ever <laughs> discovered. <laughs> she, she's sitting in the front row. Uh, uh, but it is actually rather a lovely thing that I found in Spitsbergen. And these, are all, these were from the island, Arctic island of Spitsbergen, where I did my PhD and wrote a large number of papers describing rather wonderful animals from there. All of them new to science. Parapylechia, just to tell you, was a known genus. So the, the species name here is Jacqueline. This one, by contrast, I think even if you don't know anything about trilobites, you can see it's pretty boring. Uh, sm all smoothed out. And Ossitatus, its species name, means liable to provoke a yawn. <laughs> um, I had to go through quite a lot of Latin dictionaries to find that one. 